In this video, we'll talk about what a conditional recipient is and how you can use that DocuSend feature. Imagine that a sales rep wants to send a contract to their client and the sales rep can give a discount or not to the customer. If they give a discount that's less than 10%, then the sales rep just needs the customer to sign the sales contract before they can fulfill the order. But if the sales rep wants to give a discount that's greater than 10% to the client, then they will need to get the approval of their sales manager before the, se the uh, client can sign the sales contract. So with DocuSign Conditional Recipient, you can use a value, which means anything that's been entered in a field in DocuSign to trigger whether or not the approval of the sales manager is required. And therefore, the envelope will go not just from sales rep straight to client, but first sales rep, then sales manager, then client, if the value of the discount is greater than 10%, or it'll just go straight from sales rep to client if the value is lesser than 10%. So let's just see how to do this in DocuSign. And before I show you this, if you're new to the channel, my name is Sofian Saudi, and I help financial services businesses implement automated paperwork solutions such as DocuSign eSignature. If you need help with your DocuSign implementation, you can use the booking link in the description down below to book a strategy call with me so we can review your setup and discuss our consulting options. And if you just wanna learn how to use DocuSign, you're just getting started, you can download my free DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet, which will help you understand how to work with templates, recipients, and the various fields. So all the links of the things that I've just mentioned, you can find them in the description down below. Now let's just jump on the computer and see how conditional recipients actually work. So here's the template where I want to add the conditional recipient. I'm gonna show you the sales document first. So think of this as a sales contract or let's just call it an invoice. So we've got two line items here, and then we've got the percentage discount. We need the signature of the client, and then we need the signature of the actual sales representative as well. So the workflow is as follows. First, the sales rep fills out the document, and then the client countersigns to approve that they want to legally enter the agreement. But what we want to happen is that in this particular field here, where it says percentage discount, we want our sales rep to enter a value and if the value is greater than 10% then the document should route to the sales manager before the client receives it. So how are we going to do this? The first thing you want to do is you want to add the extra conditional recipient. So we're going to click on add conditional recipient here in the workflow and group name you can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call this approval group and then the role will be sales manager. And then I'm just gonna add myself as the recipient. And then I'm gonna click on save. You can add as many recipients as you want in the uh, conditional group, that's fine. And then I'm gonna click on save. Before I continue in any further, what you need to know is that you need to know in advance who the conditional recipient is going to be. So for instance, you can't add a conditional recipient in the template and leave the name and email blank you need to know who that person is going to be. So if you're just sending a document to your signers and you don't know who an extra potential signer is going to be, like a spouse or a custodian, you won't be able to use conditional recipients for that. Um, I've released a video that shows you how to work around this limitation of DocuSign. So it's basically an integration between JotForm and DocuSign. JotForm allows you to collect the name and email of the person that's conditional to the signing process, and then those details will fit into the DocuSign envelope. If you're confused about what I'm telling you now, don't worry, it just means that this particular thing that I'm showing you will work for you. But again, if you're not sure who the conditional recipients all going to be in your situation, you wanna check out my JotForm and DocuSign integration video. Because we know who this sales manager is and we know their name and we know their email, we can just set them up here and then we'll click on save. Then you wanna give right signing order to the recipient. So it's now three, but we do want them to sign in position number two. And then client, we only want them to receive the document in position number three. So now we've got the conditional recipient set up, which means it exists, but we need to add the trigger. So we need to tell DocuSign what needs to happen for the sales manager to receive the document before the client. So if I go to the tagging page, this is where I'm gonna add my rule. I'm gonna use this particular field here as the trigger because this is the field where the sales rep needs to enter the value, which is between one to 100 to give us the percentage discount. So I'm gonna click on that field and then I'm gonna click on open rules and add rule. And then from this drop-down menu, 
I'm gonna say that the conditional recipient should be triggered if the value entered in this field is greater than 10. And if that's the case, then I'm gonna route to approval group and to the Sofian manager, to the sales manager recipient. And then I'm just gonna click on done. Now that we've set up the conditional routing rule, we need to add a field for recipient as well. So if I select the approval group, then I'm just gonna add approve button and I can just place it here. So the approve button, by the way, doesn't leave any visual mark on the document, so it doesn't really matter where you place it. But basically sales manager will get this, click on approve, and then the document will go to the client. I mean, that's the idea. Now I'm gonna save and close and send an envelope to myself, act as the sales rep, and we'll see what happens if I enter 11% discount and what happens if I enter a 10% discount. Let's do it. I'm now filling out the envelope as the sales representative. So I'm gonna add a quantity and a price to all those items. And so the total price is $200. If I add 10% discount and sign, the envelope should go straight to the client. So I'm gonna test this. And now looking at the inbox and you can see that, so it's actually the client that's filling this out. So if I click on review document, the only thing that I will have to do is to countersign the agreement. There's no approve button, countersign, and then that's done. Now I'm gonna send the same envelope, but include an 11% discount instead. Okay, so back into new envelope this time, I'm gonna add the same numbers in those fields. So the total is $200 as well. And I'm now gonna add an 11% discount, which means the total is 178. If I now sign and click on finish, sales manager should get the request to approve the discount. So I'm now looking at my inbox and you can see that the person who received the email is the sales manager. And if I click on review document, the envelope will start and I should see my little approve button at the top left, there you go. And now that I've clicked on approve, the client will receive the envelope and it will be for them to countersign the document. And this is how you set up conditional routing for recipients' email address and names that you have. So if you don't know who your uh, conditional recipients are, you wanna check out my other video, which is uh, how to integrate DocuSign and JotForm to work around this limitation that DocuSign has. And that's it for today, I hope this was helpful. I'll see you in the next one, ciao.